Today we're at Complete Customs in McKinney, Texas. The car was dropped off about a week and a half ago. We have put a whole lot of man hours in it. Probably as many or more than any other SEMA build off the top of my head. We've taken it from the ground up. We're excited because it's different, something new. I'm a hot rod guy. We build hot rods, we build custom cars. I've never put a kitchen in a car. Exciting to be a part of it, see Marty's vision. You see a lot of the campers that they're doing for Overland now. Most of them have a door that goes right here. Yeah. We didn't want that. We wanted to have that as a bed area, as a gathering area and everything else. So we did the door in the back and that was another one. So we did the pass through and the door in the back. And, and those were kind of, at the very beginning, those were important things. Right now we're working on getting all the body work completed. We're, we're trying to get the, the shell of it in primer. We want to get a lot of the dust work done and all the messy stuff done first. Part of the challenge of doing with this vehicle is electrical is one. You're running everything off of a car battery or a couple of car batteries in order to get power to everything that you need. Lights, a stove, there's propane involved, there's a bathroom involved with the toilet. So there's water flow, there's disposals. So there's a lot of stuff doing with this truck that we don't normally do that we're looking forward to get done. And we have plans on, but we're looking to get in the inside once the outside's done and really get after the inside. We're trying right now to figure out a, a really good way to be able to show off the interior at a car show because it is going to be pretty neat on the interior. So we're going to get the whole thing in primer, we're going to get it painted, we're going to finish the inside, finish the electrical, the water, the lighting. It'll be a totally different truck. We still need to do suspension on it when we get it back, we need to do wheels and tires, um, a myriad of different things. So. We'll stay on top of it. We'll make sure it doesn't get too far behind. And if it does, then uh, we'll have to readdress it and figure out how to get it back on schedule.